Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I just got back from training my academy players and I have a story that I wanted to, to come on here and share with you guys because if you've read the, the title of this video, I know that it is going to, to relate. It can relate to you and it's something that is very common among football coaches and private, more especially uh, private football coaches in the UK that are operating a, a coaching business. So I just got back from training and where I train, I train alongside a, there's this one trainer there, very, very good trainer. And I see, I see him every week, right? He's, he's there every week from 8 a.m. through to late in the evening. And he's got back-to-back -back sessions training, training, training and working with his clients. Some, some, uh, some hour slots he does one-to-one -one training. Other hours he does uh, small groups. So it varies, but he tends to do all his sessions on a Saturday. Now, obviously working and coaching alongside him, I've managed to, to actually sit down and have a conversation uh, with this coach. And I found out a little bit about how he operates and what he kind of does within his business. So I wanted to, to, to share with you guys a little, little story about how uh, coaches in the UK are currently blowing or shall we say wasting their their money once they get paid from clients so for example let me take this coach now last week we were it was really really hot we were sat down after one of his uh, uh, training sessions was done he was there in the shade drinking drinking water so I was packing up, I came over to him and I started, as we do every week, just ha started to have a, a little conversation about how his business is doing, how, you know, how, how working with his clients is going, etc. You know, that, 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 that small talk that you have with when you come across a, a coach or, or, or someone that you see when you're out and about. So I started talking to this, to this coach and he told me a really, really interesting story and it left a really strong message that I thought, do you know what? I want to share this with our audience, right? So if you are a coach that, that consistently watches our content, whether it be uh, Ben's uh, videos or whether it be my videos or the podcasts, right? This story might resonate with you or if it's not resonating with you, it might resonate with you, but it might be happening to someone that you know. So last week I sp spoke to this to this coach. We got talking and I said to him, right, so how, how did you do? Like, how did you do uh, with your with your business last week? And he said to me, he said, Leo, do you know what? Like, I had a really, really good uh, weekend. I made about 300 pounds that weekend uh, working with clients. So I said, you know what? That's, that's really good. Like any, any coach in the UK would, would be over the moon about making 300 pounds in one weekend. Now, obviously he works really hard. He's out Monday. He's out on Saturday and Sunday morning, 8 a.m., through to, to late in the evening, back-to-back -back sessions. I think he might have a mini break in between. So I said to him, okay, like how, how many sessions did you do? So between Saturday and Sunday of that weekend where, where this coach made 300 pounds, he, he did 20 private training sessions, right? In that week, in that weekend alone. So he was out from from 8 30 to about nine o'clock at night back-to-back -back sessions right he done some on saturday and he did some on sunday 
So I said to him, I said, man, that, like, that, that's a really good weekend. I said, that, that is, you know, most coaches would love to, to have that week type of weekend. And there was a few things he, he said to me. So his response was, he wasn't over the moon about doing it because it came with a lot of sacrifice in the sense that he had to be out from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. doing sessions, right? So he, he didn't go home at all during that time that he was out, right? So he said, by the end of Sunday, I was completely dead. Uh, I didn't want to move. I was extremely tired, dehydrated. Uh, I had a, a, a massive headache from being outside, exposed to the sun. And also, it, it becomes mentally draining where you, when you're working back-to-back -back sessions. And in some cases, you're, you're repeating sessions. Because okay? this is something a lot of uh, trainers do. When they work with different types of clients, they, they tend to repeat uh, training sessions. So he was saying that, yeah, it was, it was tiring. I felt burnt out. You know, I was sunburned, dehydrated, and really mentally fatigued due to the, the repetition uh, of, of, the, of the sessions, right? Now, my message here wasn't that bit, right? My message here is the next bit he said, and the next bit he said was when he got home that Sunday evening, right? And it wasn't even when he got home. On the way home, right, he stopped off and he pretty much blew half of his money that he just made, right? So on the way home, he, he stopped off at a friend's house. Right. And this this is a story that he told me himself. Right. So I'm only going with what that, that coach told me. OK, so he told me that after the session, he packed up, got in the car, went to a couple of, of his friends houses. Obviously, he told them about how he had a great weekend. You know, he made 300 pounds uh, just training, coaching kids and Pretty much he invited all of his friends out for a meal. So they went to a, a restaurant that is not too far from where I live, right? Because this coach is quite local to my area. And he bought a meal for himself and two of his friends. So out of that uh, meal, right? He obviously went to the most expensive restaurant he pretty much got uh, the most expensive uh, meal on that menu. And obviously, because he was paying, his other friends kind of took advantage and ordered pretty much what they wanted and the most expensive things on that menu. Now, something he was telling me was that when he got out of the restaurant, he looked at the, the, the receipt because he wasn't really paying attention to when when he paid at the restaurant. So he said he said to me, Leo, like I came out of that restaurant and I looked at the receipt and, and it came to £110. Right? Now, mind you, I, I believe that because the restaurant that he went to is very expensive. Right? It's very expensive and you know, per head, you're you're easily going to spend between 30 to, to 50 pounds, all right, for a full course meal. So he obviously invited his friends, his two friends, him to three full course meals, came to 110 pounds. So out of that 300, he's already blown 110 pounds. The way home, he said, right, yeah, we stopped off for, for a couple of beers. So they bought a few crate of, crate of beers, obviously three of them. And that total came to about uh, 20 pound, right? So that's another 20 pound blown from the 300. So once he got home, right, they started to drink beer. They were, they were hanging out, um, probably playing PlayStation. Okay. Just, just, you know, hanging out as, as friends. 
And one of his friends said, oh, do you know what? I feel, I feel a bit peckish. I feel a bit hungry. So the coach said, okay, do you know what? Let's, let's get something. So there we go. They, they go and they, they order another, another meal, right? And they ordered it, obviously, through one of the, 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 the apps. It was either a Deliveroo or a, a Just Eat or one of those. So that, that came to another 30 pounds, he was telling me. So in total already, he's blown 150 pounds in one day on pretty much just rubbish, okay? Restaurant, a takeaway, beer, and pretty much what was left over, he was telling me, from that 300, was about 120 pounds okay now again this was a story that that coach told me okay he went into quite a lot of detail and it's funny because when when people start to lose money they they start to tell you the reality of of what they actually start spending money on so what i wanted to do is i want to come on here and just share this story because it's a really important one and it's something that a lot of uh, football coaches that have coaching businesses that work really hard on the weekend with their clients they they do really well you know financially they do really well they, they have a good saturday or they have a good sunday they make money and then from the field or from the pitch onto the drive home they they blow it right they waste that money that they earn right and there's a couple of reasons number one was pretty much this coach that i told you the story he got his 300 all cash in hand okay now something i always encourage coaches to do is to try and transition from that cash in hand into a more online uh, system and the reason is because if if i'm a coach right if I'm that trainer, I've been out on the pitch, at, on the field from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. I've worked really hard. I've made 300 pounds, all cash. The temptation to spend that before I put it into my account is very, very high, right? Now, mind you, banks in the UK don't typically open on saturday and sunday right some banks might open a half day on a saturday but normally what football coaches are doing is they're out on the field and working with clients so a saturday and sunday you're going to be walking around in your wallet with that that cash and the temptation to spend it on silly and stupid things is really really high so what happens is by the time we get to monday where you have to put that money into your either your business account or your personal account, depending on how you, you operate your business, right? You've probably spent half of what you've made that weekend. Okay. So if you haven't already, go back to some of the videos that I've I've talked about these topics on how to transition from, from cash in hand into an online system where you are getting paid away from the pitch which means you're not getting cash in hand where which means you're not losing your money okay because not not just only can you waste it on stupid things but you can also lose it at the field and i've spoken to a lot of coaches that have done had a really good day and then it gets to the end of the day and they they realize you know what, where's my money and it either got blown away or they lost it from walking to the pitch to their car and that's it that's all your hard work gone for nothing okay so if this is something that resonates with you right if you are operating your business this way and you think to yourself do you know what i need to step away from this okay i need to have a more secure business i need to have better structure better organization right in the link in the description of this video that you will find a link right if you click on that link you'll be able to schedule a call with me. It will be a 15 to 20 minute call. We can jump on Zoom. I can answer any questions you might be having uh, about your business, right? Where you're currently at, where you want to get to. 
and I'll be able to help you, share with you some strategies, some tips that, that some successful coaches that I'm currently working with have implemented so that they aren't blowing their money or wasting their money after they get paid, right? They've got a streamlined business where they're tracking everything that's coming in, everything that's going out, and they're not losing or wasting money, okay? So in the description, there'll be a link. Click on the link. You can schedule a 15 to 20 minute call with me. I'll be more than happy to sit with you, answer questions, see where you are, see where, you're in, where, where you want to get to and, and help you any way I could can. Okay, All right. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.